Okay, thank you very much. So, um, <coughs> it's a pleasure to be here, and thank you for the organizers for inviting me to give this talk. <coughs> and um, <coughs> in this talk, I'd like to introduce um, a very, very interesting and exciting and very fast-moving new field. It's moving so fast, we don't know if to call it new or if it's already uh, been with us uh, for a while because uh, it's pushing, things are going so fast. Um, <coughs> and I'm um, giving this talk to, um, to you who I assume is a very varied audience. Um, and so I am, um, I hope each and every one of you will feel that uh, I am introducing something new to you and uh, helping uh, understand this domain, which is specifically of, of interest to me, and I hope I will convey some of that interest to you. So I had the Medical Image Processing Lab and uh, also um, recently got a funded by Intel to go into deep learning in the medical imaging domain, <coughs> which shows you that deep learning, which is sort of everywhere, is in fact being uh, introduced to the medical domain. So if you've caught that little car driving autonomously there, um, the future is here in many, many domains. We have Google Image Search. Uh, Suddenly, everything is simple for us to search for images. Uh, autonomous cars coming around suddenly. Uh, we used to think it was an impossible task. Gene sequencing and, and all sorts of these new things coming around. Uh, what about the domain of imaging and medical imaging per, uh, per se? Well, we have a lot of modalities and we have a lot of higher resolution acquisitions, capabilities, so much so that now we have uh, 25 second CT scan, 2,000 images, and PET CT is 6,000 images. We have 5 billion studies worldwide and growing. Well, that's all great because we have a huge amount of image data, and in medical imaging, that's what we want. We want the data. There's one thing we forgot that someone has to look at all of that data, and that someone um, I'm going to be referring to here mostly is a radiologist. Okay, and it could be uh, oncologist, and it can be a variety of things, but let's call this person the radiologist, the Im medical expert. And all this data is coming to the medical expert in, in a medical uh, diagnosis situation.